Hey friends, today I'm going to share how to sew an invisible stitch or ladder stitch. You can use this type of stitch to hand sew a pillow closed, to sew or repair a seam in a stuffy or a plushie, or to repair a seam in a piece of clothing. All supplies are listed in the description below this video. You'll need thread that matches your fabric, I really like this hand quilting thread for hand sewing. I'm going to be using a red thread for this video so that you can see the stitches better. You'll also need a hand sewing needle. I really like these John James needles. To protect my finger while hand sewing, I like to use a thimble. You'll need scissors to cut your thread and pins to help hold your fabric in place. If your fabric frays easily, you can search or zigzag the edges of your pillow. Fold down each edge of your pillow cover one half inch and finger press in place. Pin the two edges of your pillow cover together. If you're right-handed, you'll sew the ladder stitch from the right side to the left side. And if you're left-handed, start on the left side and move to the right. Thread your needle. We're going to use two strands of thread to make a stronger stitch. Make a knot at the ends of the threads. Place your needle in the fold of the fabric and bring it up through the crease. This will hide your knot. Place your needle straight across to the other folded edge and take a small stitch into the fold, bringing the needle to the top side. Go straight across to the other folded edge, take a small stitch and bring the needle to the top side. This illustration shows how you'll take a stitch directly across from the previous stitch to form the latter stitch. Continue using the ladder stitch until you get to the other side of the opening, taking out your pins as you sew. Once you've stitched all of the opening closed, make a knot by taking a tiny bit of fabric, bring your needle part way through, and then place your needle through the loop and pull through. Repeat these steps one more time to make sure you have a very secure knot. Then put the needle into the knot and out through the fabric below to hide the tail. Then you can cut off the excess thread. You can see where my red knot is, but if I had used thread to match my fabric, the knot would be invisible. So that's how you hand sew the ladder stitch to close an opening. It really does work well to create an invisible stitch.